Welcome back. So I've been MIA for a couple days on this channel because I've been super sick. Um, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm on some antibiotics. I'm feeling a little bit better. So I think we should do some planty things today. So today we're in my bedroom. Please excuse the mess. So uh, I think a couple uploads ago, I did a video that was go plant shopping with me at some big box stores and I said I was looking for a trailing pothos. I didn't buy one that day, but I did go back to Lowe's this morning and I bought a trailing pothos and this is what I have planned. I want to do kind of like a wall art piece where a pothos is trailing from my window across the entire wall. So I've bought some things that we need so first of all I ordered the things that the pothos has to use to kind of like trail across the wall um, I got these bamboo hoops they're of a varying size um, I don't really remember I bought these on Amazon I don't really remember how much they were I'll put the price on the screen like here somewhere but I think it was under $20 and there's I think 13 pieces of different size and shapes um hmm, interesting immediately I see that a couple of them seem to be broken but it's fine I'm <clears throat> I'm not gonna return them or anything I'll probably just super glue them together it's like all the big pieces are broken I wonder if that's intentional because I think it's all the ones that are that large size. Can you tell I haven't opened to this since right this minute? Um, that's strange. That's okay. I probably just like super glue it or whatever. And then inside the package, it also came with some uh, mini cable ties, which I'm presuming is how you attach the hoops to each other. I don't know if I'm going to use these, but good to have. I also bought extra cable ties. Um, I'm actually gonna, I bought that to use with, um, to make some moss poles, but I think it'll be good to have for this project as well. And then to get it, the hoops onto my wall, I'm gonna use these 3M hooks. Focus. They're clear, so it's a little bit hard to focus, but I think these are meant for um, like Christmas lights or like Christmas decorations. Um, so they're really small. There's 40 in here and they don't hold a lot of weight, but the bamboo hoops are really light. So I'm not too concerned about that. And then the start of the show, of course, is the pothos. So I'm gonna have trailing across my wall. So I went to Lowe's and I picked the longest one that they had and it's a golden pothos so look how long it is okay. it keeps going keeps going it's probably like a good maybe three or four feet long that's crazy right and then um, there are some leaves that I need to cut off up top but I don't think that's a big deal because it's a golden pothos so I'm sure it will grow quite vigorously for me and then um originally i had hoped that i would just be able to hang the plant up on my curtain rod but unfortunately my curtain rod is hung up like just a little bit too high so um the leaves wouldn't be where the window is but it'll be like right the wall right above it so i think i'm gonna make a macrame hanger for it but i'm not gonna go too in depth about the macrame hanger in this video because i'm gonna make a different video about it but i'm just gonna do a really quick non-fussy one just to get it just to get the level of the pot down to where the window is um yeah i'm really excited about this i think it's gonna look awesome okay so first i think what i'm gonna do is make the macrame hanger and i'm gonna go trim the plant really quick okay so we're in the bathroom and i'm gonna sanitize my scissors and then cut off some of the dead leaves up here at the top and i'm also gonna water this plant because it's super dry 
and I'm gonna wait for it to train while I go make the macrame pear. Okay, just sanitize my scissors. I'm gonna take off this tag, and then we could go find some of the dead leaves that I saw earlier. Guys, it was so much work, but I finally got the pothos up. So um, I couldn't make it work with the macrame I had made. So I ended up just swapping it out with one of the old macrame hangers I had, and that worked better. And then um, I got this pottery pot from another plant, and I realized that I had to prioritize this because I'm going to attach it to the wall. So it's going to be very difficult to ever remove this from watering, so I had to prioritize um, any pottery I had that had a good drainage hole so that I could just water it hanging here. Um, but it's finally here. It's semi-stable. I think it'll be okay. Um, I think I need to still weave some of these trails into like a different hole on here. But, uh, and then we can start working on how to get the hoops up here now. Ooh, that was hard. Okay, what I'm going to do now is start laying these hoops out in a way that I think will look good. Um, I'm honestly just going to wing it. I'm not going to be that particular about it. Okay, so I kind of have the... Um, Lay down my bed. I'm debating if I should zip tie it. I probably should. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to zip tie this. that's cool there you go zip tied together I'm, I'm gonna wait to cut off all the zip ties until after I put it on the wall in case I change my mind about something all right so I have this sticky strip 
and then the clear thingy. So the black side, you peel it off, you stick it on the wall, you wait a little bit, then you peel off this blue side and you stick the sticky tab on it. And then I'm gonna do it so that the hook is like this, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna put one on maybe in the middle. And then we'll see how that goes. pretty good um, I think I'm gonna move it so that uh, it's one circle over to the right because I think it looks a little bit crooked this way or maybe I can just push it over Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make sure this goes up more. Okay, cool. Okay, so the clips were kind of a little bit of a fail. Besides that clip, that initial clip up there, this one, that's holding really like the whole thing up. Um, all of these other clips that I tried to put in, they didn't really do much. And the piece kept kind of like, swinging forward and not laying flat against the wall so instead of trying to put more clips up what i did was i just took the sticky tape that came for the clips and just put it straight on um to the hoops so you can barely see but i put one right here where the two hoops met because that's the thickest area and the width kind of matches with the width of the clip so i just put you know wall side to wall side and the side that was supposed to go on the clip i just put straight onto the hoop and then stuck it to the wall and i put it like maybe like four of them throughout here and i think that's working way better than the clips were uh, i do think that th that initial clip up there was important because i think that's really what like kept it hanging in balance but after that to keep it like flat on the wall i just went ahead and like basically double sticky taped it and then now i'm going to go around and cut off all the cable ties And then we're pretty much done and we just have to start putting some of that trail onto the hoop.
Okay, so I was able to start trailing this over. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this plant was longer when I was holding it up than in this moment. But um, we did get two trails that like definitely fit. And then some of these other ones are getting almost there. A couple more leaves and they would definitely be able to reach the ring. But um, so I ended up zip tying just these trails to the hoop. I think I'll be fine with the zip ties because that's just what I had. Um, they also make velcro ties that are specifically for plants so if you're worried about damaging your plants i think those would be a good option but honestly i think those ties will be fine um and they're not pulled very tight they're only pulled tight enough so that the plant won't move um and then you could definitely always you know just cut those zip ties off um but so there's two trails right now that are long enough to fit the hoop so this trail i'm going to trail it up and over and this trail right now, I'm gonna go through the middle hoops a little bit eventually. And then, you know, when these get longer, then we'll do the bottom. But yeah, I feel like the head result look a little bit underwhelming, but it's gonna be amazing later on once this grows in a little bit. And it's a golden pot though, so it's gonna grow in really quickly. I have a lot of hope. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this wall art piece on my Instagram. So give me a follow on there if you want to see an update.